Sometimes the endpoint of input data is not known, so a sentinel value can be used to notify the program to stop acquiring input. If the input is from a user, the user could be prompted to enter a specific value to stop collecting data. For example, negative 1, where the normal input is, po is a positive number. Programs that get file input typically use the end of file marker, EOF, to stop acquiring input data. And let's take a quick look at an example of using sentinel values in a program. So let's create a Java program that's going to gather a bunch of integers from the user and total it up. And the user is going to be prompted to enter negative 1 when that user is done entering data. So we're going to get a running total and it's going to be terminated by a negative 1. So first thing we should do is allow our program to read user input by creating a scanner object. Scanner keyboard equals new scanner system.in this up here and we need to import scanner so mouse over the word scanner and click on the quick fix to import scanner from java.util here it is let's add up total exam scores so let's create a variable for your exam score and let's create another variable to sum up the total of them int total score and let's initialize this one to zero then we're going to ask the user to enter their exam scores and enter negative one which is the sentinel value to stop collecting data so we'll do a system dot out dot print line enter your exam scores or negative one to stop so first let's grab that first exam score by saying score equals keyboard dot next int then we can check with our while loop by saying while the score is not equal to negative one if that's true what we're going to do here is add the score to our total by saying total score is plus equals the score that was entered then we want to get the next score, so let's ask the user to enter another one. Enter another score for negative one to stop. Then we want to grab the next score the same way that we grabbed it above the while loop by saying score is assigned to keyboard.next int. And then after we grab the score, it's going to check if that new score that was entered is not equal to negative one it's going to continue to add it to the total ask for another one it'll check again it'll continue by adding it to the total and grabbing another score and it'll keep going on forever until the user enters negative one so when we're finally done and the loop exits because the user entered negative one we can print out the total score system dot out dot print line the total is total score so let's try out this program and see what happens. Click run, make my console a little bit bigger. Enter your exam scores or negative one to stop. So let's say you got an 18 out of 20 on the first exam. Enter another exam score, then you got a 15 out of 20, and then you got a 20 out of 20, and then you have two more exams. You got a 17 and another 18, and then you're done. So enter negative one. The program stops and your total for the course is 88 out of 100. So this negative one was the sentinel value. The program was expecting positive numbers as input and once you entered a number that was different than the typical set of numbers going into it, it knew to stop based on the way that this while condition was set up.